Hi, my name is Harlan. Welcome to the H Magical Mechanical Engineering Channel. In the previous video tutorials, we talked about hydraulic calculations for fire sprinkler systems. And today, our topic will be about comparing the fire sprinkler system demand against the available city water supply, and then calculating the safety factor. Supposing, based on our previous calculations on uh, fire sprinkler demand, we get this data here. We have a design area, which we supposedly call design area number one, which is uh, maybe a penthouse. And we have here, uh, it is classified as ordinary hazard with a design criteria of 0.15 gallons per minute per square foot and uh, 587 square feet. Maximum coverage per sprinkler is 130 square foot and the largest area covered by any sprinkler based on our layout um, was say for example 130 square foot and the number of sprinklers calculated is six and the total sprinkler water flow required is 122.57 gpm and adding the hose allowance of uh, 250 gpm so the total water required is 372.57 GPM. So uh, based on our, say based on our hydraulic calculations, the result uh, would have been, say for example, 47.15 PSI at 372.57 GPM with a sprinkler orifice size of 5.6. And uh, as you may note, uh, before we do the design of sprinklers, um, we have to have a flow test for the hydrants, CT hydrants available in the location. So uh, the water supply information at static pressure is 52 PSI and uh, at flowing flows at 1174.6 GPM at a pressure of 50 PSI and at, uh, as you increase the flow uh, to 1956.8 GPM and the pressure drops to 40 PSI. And so uh, we, will rem rem we should remember that uh, the NFPA 13 requirement for minimum fire hose stream allowances will be 100 GPM for light hazard and 250 GPM for ordinary hazard and 500 GPM for extra hazard. This would be added to the fire sprinkler hydraulic calculations. And so as we plot, we see here that uh, this will be the sprinkler demand and this will be the host allowance of 250 GPM. So compare it to the city water supply, the, the static pressure of 52 PSI here, and then you have different flows at uh, 50 PSI and at uh, 40 PSI. So we plot the flows. So we have now the city water supply and our uh, task is now to compute the safety factor. Uh, we know that uh, the city water supply is uh, sufficient uh, to cover for the hose and the sprinkler requirements. So the next step is to compute the available pressure CT what of the CT water at uh, a sprinkler demand of 372.57 gallons per minute. So uh, the result using this equation will be 51.44 PSI. So subtract the sprinkler requirement, 47.15 from 51.44. So we have a safety factor of 4.29 PSI. 
Let's go to another example. Supposing we consider a design area, which, which we might call design area number two, which is actually an underground parking with car stacker based on our one of our past projects with an extra hazard group two occupancy classification. We have a design criteria of 0.4 GPM per square feet and 2,000 502 square feet. The maximum coverage per sprinkler will be 100 square feet. And the largest area covered by any sprinkler based on our layout uh, was 93 square feet. The number of sprinklers calculated is 33. So based on the hydraulic calculations done on this project, the total sprinkler water flow required is 1453.5 GPM, and we add a 500 GPM hose allowance to it to get a total water requirement will be 1953.5 GPM. And the flow and the pressure will be 1953.5 GPM at 69.21. Uh, this is the result of uh, one of uh, the hydraulic calculations of our project, past project. Sprinkler orifice size 11.2. And uh, this is the water supply information that we got. So as we plot, we have already plotted the city water supply, and then we plot the sprinkler demand here plus the host allowance of 500 uh, gallons per minute at uh, the pressure of 69.15. And so we see that uh, the city water is not enough uh, for the sprinkler demand and the host demand. So we check the available pressure at 1953.5, what will be the available pressure of the city water supply? So based on this equation, we get a value of 40.04. So uh, going back, we see this. So there's a discrepancy. It's not enough. So it's a negative. So what we'll do is uh, we need a pump to boost the city water supply. So the sprinkler system demands 1953.5 at 69.21 PSI and available pressure from the city water supply is only 40.04 PSI. So the pump should be able to boost the city water supply to 29.17 PSI. So we will find a pump rated at 2,000 GPM and 30 PSI, and then plot the pump curve on the graph. We will also show the combined curve of the CT water supply plus the pump curve. So then we will solve for the shot of pressure of this pump rated at 200, uh, 2,000 GPM and 30 PSI. So shot of pressure, 1.5 times the rated pressure, will be 1.4 times 30, 42 PSI is the result. And determine the delivery and its corresponding pressure of this pump at overload. So maximum delivery is so 1.5 times the rated uh, delivery. So 1.5 times 2,000 GPM. So the result will be 3,000 GPM. And pressure at overload is 0. 0.65 times uh, the rated PSI of 30. So 0. 0.65 times 30, the result will be 19.5 PSI. We will now plot the pump curve here. And we have already the hose allowance and the sprinkler demand, the CT water. So simply we have to add this value to this value here and come up with a new curve, a combined curve of the city water supply plus the pump curve. So same is true here. 
uh, this one should be added to this one to see if we have sufficient uh, water available from the city water plus the pump curve. So let's now plot the pump curve or the city water supply. At zero flow, we add the shot of pressure of the pump to the static pressure of the city water supply. So 52 plus 42, the result will be 94. So plot here at uh, 94 here. Okay. And we will determine the available pressure of the city water supply at 2000 GPM. We'll have uh, using this equation. So at 2000 GPM, the available pressure of the city water supply will be 39.5 PSI. So add this value of the pump pressure of 30 to 39.5, the result will be 69.5 here. So you can now plot the combined curve and you will notice that it has already satisfied what is required by the uh, fire sprinkler and the hose allowance. Although uh, the safety factor is quite small here. So uh, this covers now our topic for today, comparing the city water demand and the fire sprinkler, sorry, fire sprinkler uh, system demand to the available city water supply and i would like to invite you uh, to watch uh, our next video tutorials at h machicon mechanical engineering channel on youtube thank you bye now